Santa Fe Pagoda is categorized as cultural historical monument in Doe region. The name of Doe is said to come from the verse Doe Fu Bonten Hatku, which means Doe region, the land in the west of the capital is a quiet land. And Doe region has a long-standing history. The cultural uniqueness of Doe region creates the sacred feature of this land. According to documents, Doe Pagoda was rebuilt in the reign of Kinlin Hunchung. 1072 to 1027 from a small old temple named to Onghe. This pagoda is famous for its beauty art of architecture. Charming mountain and mystery, sacred legends of Tu Dao Han life. A famous Zen master in the period of Lai Dynasty. said that the most sacred places were where people passed away because the souls were still there. Lang Pagoda was related to the beginning of Tu Dao Han's life, and Thay Pagoda witnessed the end of his life. The Zen master of 12th generation of Vinodara Chi. Perhaps, it makes the pagoda attracts many people to come here. According to the legend, Du Dao Han was a famous herbal doctor. He went to mountains to find herbal for curing people. He taught them how to plant, told them how to play traditional games, such as wrestling and cockfighting. Especially, he was said to be the one who invented water puppetry. So that people in the region admired him, called him Thay, Master. It is said that Chu Dao Han was reborn to be Sung Hin Hao Sun, and became Kin Lai Than Tong. Thay Pagoda is called Ka Pagoda as well, written name is Thin Phuc Du. According to Feng Shui, Te Pagoda was built on the dragon-shaped land. Long Dao Hill is on the left of the pagoda, Te Mountain is on the right. In front of the pagoda, there is the lake named Long Tri, or Dragon Pond. Two side of the lake, there are two bridges, Nhatian and Guyetian. The bridges created the beard of dragon, which make the lake look more mystery. In the center of the lake, there is a stage named Chudin, which said to be the jewel in the dragon mouth. This is the place where they perform water puppetry in festival season. The pagoda was built in the shape of Cham character. On the high base. The pagoda consists of Hectares Pagoda, Trung Pagoda and Kuong Pagoda. This pagoda is typical of integration between Buddhism and native religion. Pagoda is the typical one of Vajrayana Buddhism, which used specific image with tantric terms to enlighten people. Use art of architecture, art of visual, feng shui, statues and sculptures placement, 
for a Buddhist to think about it themselves. In the space of a solemn, ancient, down-to-earth Buddhism architecture, the pagoda can be seen in the arrangement where shrines dedicated to Saint come second after the places of worship dedicated to Buddha. The pagoda also has the art of unique sculpture in the 17th century. Hector's pagoda displays the statues of Anapapindika and Ananda. Tron Pagoda has the altar of Buddha, two sides of Buddha are Dharmapala, and Devaraja statues. The most unique and special feature of this pagoda is the Ong Pagoda, where worshipped the incarnations of Master Chu Dao Han, which describe three lives of him, a monk. A king and a saint. Masters in Pagoda told that, with such a huge palace but there were only 36 mortises. The tile roof of the pagoda was done in shape of traditional shoe. The pagoda also worshipped Chu Dao Han as barons, Mr. Chu Bin and Miss Tang alone and to friends of him, Master Ming Kong and Master Jia Ke. Beside the statues, the pagoda still maintain the valuable relics such as the stone lotus-shaped throne, with dragon and flowers on its lower sides, four comers of the throne are Garuda. This is the relic from Lai Dynasty. Every year, the Pagoda Festival is from the 5th to the 7th of March, lunar calendar. Many people come here praying and visiting. The seventh is the special day, it is said should be the day. Master Chu Dao Han became saint and the Pagoda Festival officially was held to memorize him. The ritual is the religious performance with instruments. The main gifts are put on the altar with hundreds of other gifts from people.
attending the Pagoda Festival, people feel like coming to the spiritual realms, enjoying the landscape. Pagoda Festival is the combination of Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism and folk religion which make this festival become one of the greatest one in our country. And the Buddhist folk signing art add the beauty to traditional culture of Doe region. The Pagoda Festival not only has religious rituals, but also has water puppets show with unicorn and dragon performances, pounding rice, full follow fighting. All the performances are brought in so down to earth and attractive. The puppets suddenly appear and disappear on the surface of water. The stages in the lake in front of the pagoda. This is a humidity art which reflect activities of farmers' life. Come to the pagoda festival. We can see the atmosphere full of national identity with religions. There are cave, lake and market. Mountain and river are typical landscape. Crossing the Guya Tian Bridge. With 251 stone steps, there is Kao Pagoda, also called Dun Sun. It is said that this is the place where Master Zhu Dao Han started his religious life. Closely next to Dun Sun Pagoda, there is a stone cave. It is said that the cave is the place where Zen Master Zhu Dao Han was reborn. To Beacon Lai Than Dong also called Than Hoa Cave. The Pagoda landscape makes everyone who come here find peaceful. In one statement, Lord Trinken describes the view of the pagoda as a jewel among stones, like spring of all four seasons. Dragon Pond and Hat Guyet Bridge are added to the beauty of this place. Going along the bumpy path to the Nkwan Cave also used Kakko Cave. This cave attached to a tragic and heroic legend. Over 2000 years ago, in this place, the warrior under General Lu Jie's leadership would rather dead than being conquered by the Han Dynasty. Such a tragedy, but Kakko Cave is also a romantic place. Single ladies miss Gakko Cave, single men miss the Pagoda Festival. The Mark 
works are still remained, all contributed to create the sacred and respective space of the pagoda. From the charming landscape to the significant legend of Tu Dao Han, makes Sai Sun a sacred place. And the pagoda with beautiful art of architecture becomes one of the Buddhism centers of Northern Delta.